These MakeSky Blue Charge controllers are nice and simple, but mine tend to run hot. The inner part of my workshop does not have any air conditioning, and at 50 to 60 amps, these charge controllers start to get a bit too hot. In the past, I modified my inverters and power equipment with better fans, and that was very successful. So I decided to try the same thing with my MakeSky Blue Charge controllers. Just to see what would happen, I installed a Nidec UltraFlow fan. They are intended for servers and high-end gear, and are incredibly powerful and loud but the results speak for themselves. Now that's cooling. But unfortunately, the fan was too loud for my shop. Anyway, I settled on an always-on 12 volts DC brushless fan stacked on top of the OEM fan. I do not want to remove the controller's existing cooling, just add on to it. Because my extra fan is always on, it does not wait for the charge controller to warm up. This mod does not interfere with the existing cooling fan, which can still operate as needed.
Testing of these various cooling options is currently ongoing. So far, I really like the centrifugal DC blower option. It's not the first time I've used them in projects. They also work really well in a solar-powered HEPA filter because of the high static pressure requirement.
Anyway, all of the fans I tried have kept temperatures down because they don't wait for the internal fan to turn on and thus they proactively prevent excess heat buildup inside the charge controller. Please let me know if you decide to mod your charge controller cooling setup and whether this video helped you out. Until next time, this is Dave signing off. Take care.